My name is Ann Coleman, and I'm the president of Coleman & Associates Landscape Architects. 2021 is my 40th year of practice as a landscape architect in Central Texas. It's hard to believe it's been that long, but when you're as passionate about landscape architecture as I am, and you still get to see the impact of the collaboration between communities like you and landscape architects like us can achieve, even your 40th year feels a lot like the first. That's why it's such a privilege to work with the civic leaders and citizens of your community to create, restore, and rejuvenate the significant and sacred space of Mary Kyle Hartson Park. Created in 1880 and named City Square Park, this two-acre site was renamed in 2011 to Mary Call Hartson City Square Park. I found it fascinating that as a 72-year-old grandmother, Mrs. Hartson was elected mayor of Kyle in 1837. She was also written up in Life Magazine as the only woman mayor in Texas at that time. Her brother played a significant role in the history of Texas A&M where I went to college. And one of our recent projects was the renovation of the outdoor plaza spaces around Kyle Field. So even in that very small way, that connection adds to my personal attachment and honor to have the opportunity to maintain the history of this park, but at the same time, overlay some new ideas to meet the needs of the modern Kyle of 2021. My colleague and co-designer at Coleman & Associates, Jose Perez, and I both know that what we are proposing will make such a difference in everyday lives of the residents and visitors of Kyle by providing a beautiful, functional, flexible, and rejuvenated outdoor park. This park will respect its proud historical significance and but provide new amenities to entice visitors to stay a little longer, host gatherings, and accommodate those special events that Kyle has that bring all of the citizens together as one vibrant and connected community. The first rendering shows the park as it exists today. Like most classic city parks throughout our country, our park features a formal sidewalk layout on a crossing of the diagonals, a central gathering space adjacent to the old city hall, trees for shade, a fountain, gazebo, donated benches and picnic tables, an entry feature with a historic bell, and a traditional open green lawn. The second drawing shows the new amenities we're proposing. These include a new central promenade of brick pavers that will be 20 feet wide going through the park north to south. At the northern end, we're going to feature a small round plaza space for gathering day to day, but to also place the holiday tree for Santa's arrival event. The promenade will also provide plentiful space for setting up outdoor craft shows or farmer's market events with adequate room for small tents and tables, but still having plenty of room for people to walk back and forth in both directions. The center of the promenade is at the back door of the old City Hall building and adjacent to the historic fountain. We're going to plant new lush plantings on the back side of the fountain and add color and beauty to really feature this focal element. Another wonderful addition we're so excited about is a new circular decomposed unifying granite path. This path provides a new dimension to the park. Whereas today the only circulation is from corner to corner, this will be a new outer loop to allow pedestrians to stroll within the park rather than just through it. It also unifies the existing features like the gazebo with the new areas we're providing like a children's play area and the new pollinator garden. The new children's play area will be located just north of the gazebo, so parents and caregivers can watch over the young ones while in the gazebo or on one of the new benches we'll place near the play area. This playscape will provide much needed activity and social opportunities for the kids and adults alike, a great way to entertain the children and therefore enable everyone to linger a bit longer while the kids are engaged in very healthy interactive social play. The southwest corner of the park will feature a pollinator garden. This garden will be planted with Central Texas natives that will attract beneficial pollinators like our butterflies, hummingbirds, and honeybees. This garden can also be used for educational purposes in addition to providing mental and physical health of a biophilic experience. Biophilic experience being that fundamental need that we humans have to connect with nature. A meandering path and benches in the garden will also add to the comfort and joy of a visit to witness all the colors, textures, sights, smells, and seasonal changes of native hill country plants, 
something that all Kyle citizens can enjoy. Our existing trees will all be preserved and a few new trees planted to ensure new tree canopies for the future. The existing turf grass will also be improved and mended with new organic compost to make it stronger and a lot more robust. We look forward to celebrating this new, improved version of your already beautiful and sacred Mary Call Hearts and City Square Park. Thank you again for this opportunity and privilege. Jose and I and the entire Coleman and Associates team are grateful to the City of Kyle for allowing us to design a park for the enjoyment of the entire Kyle community.